everyone. Last week, I had the contest. Who could guess why my rotary hammer drill is named Pollyann? Several of you got it right. Let me give you a hint. Now John Henry have a little woman. Her name was Pollyann. John Henry took sick and had to go to bed. And Pollyann drew still like a man. Pollyann drew still like a man. That's right, it's from the famous American song and folktale, John Henry. If you were one of the first five to get it right, please check my reply to your comments so you can get in touch and let me know where to send your stickers. For everyone else, I'll try to have more contests soon. Next, I'll be at the Roadmaker Fair from October 18 to 20, 2019. I'll be there with JLCPCB at booth AF43-44. I'll have some stickers with me, some LED pictures, soldering kits, maybe some pictures to autograph if I don't want now. And of course, I'm always happy to take selfies. Seriously, I'm super friendly. Just stop me and ask. It's no problem. I have a private feature group set up for the fair. If you're going, email and I'll add you. In addition to Rome, I might try to make it up to Florence. I've never been to Italy before, not even Europe. So any recommendations for good restaurants and activities you think I might like, please let me know in the comment section. Unfortunately, I won't have time to go to any other cities during this trip. Sorry. For those of you not going, I'll try to do some live streaming on YouTube. I would like to live tweet it, but Twitter locked my account after I tagged the New York Times for stealing my video. That has happened a few times now, so I'm kind of used to them throwing their weight around. But that's pretty minor news when it comes to huge corporations throwing free speech out the window this week, right? I wish there was something I could tell you. Best advice I got is don't allow private monopolies to censor public discussions without legal consequence. They'll just sell out to whoever has the most money. And that's never going to be people like you and me. In the meantime, I'll say what I can, where I can, as they continue to try and the platform and defend me for not saying and being what they want. I hope you'll keep trying to find me and enjoy my silly little corner of the internet I'm not harming anyone, just sharing the life of, of a weird girl from a high-tech city, living her own life. I'm flattered so many of you have been interested and willing to support me. Thank you so much. Really, for a working class girl, the daughter of factory workers, pretty much danced them for a life on the line herself. This is crazy, it's so much more than I could have ever hoped for and I'm really grateful to all of you.